We are going to take you live to the Green Senator Sarah Hanson Young. She's speaking on the issue of asylum seekers. There is a crisis in the hospital. Uh, we know there's a mental health crisis across our immigration detention centres. Hundreds of people suffering depression, mental illness, the levels of self harm and suicide are clearly uh, rising at a dramatic rate. Our doctors, both in uh, Darwin and across the country, are very concerned with how we're treating these vulnerable people. It's a very clear call to the Immigration Minister this morning from these doctors who are putting themselves out on a limb to say the system needs to be fixed. We can't uh, see a situation wasting billions of taxpayers' dollars and the lives of very vulnerable people, adults, uh, children, families, locked in immigration detention indefinitely without uh, the ability to, uh, to have uh, the Immigration Minister uh, act on their behalf. We know that uh, we need to get these people out. Time limits on detention would be the best way forward. Currently, we have a system that is wasting the lives of individuals and wasting taxpayers' money. Uh, the Minister has to respond to these very serious claims by Darwin's uh, senior doctors and, of course, uh, the Australian Medical Association across the country. How many people are we talking about who are having suicide attempts? There's been, <laughs> there's been numbers and numbers of suicide attempts. I, every time I visit a detention centre, uh, there are uh, dozens of people on suicide watch. The doctors today uh, in Darwin have said there are up to five cases a day that the hospital is dealing with. People with severe anxiety, people with uh, severe mental health issues. Uh, just in the last couple of weeks, we've seen a, a man so swallow a light bulb as a way of uh, harming himself. We've seen people hang themselves uh, with, uh, with shower curtains. We've seen people uh, t attempt suicide together. We know that there are children and young people who are attempting suicide as well. This is just in the Darwin facilities, but this type of uh, self-harm and uh, depression, mental illness, is existing in all of our detention centres, on Christmas Island, in Curtin, in far north Queensland, in Sherga. It is a crisis that needs to be resolved. The best way to do it is to have a time limit on detention. Once people have their health and security checks done, move them into the community. Australia is the only country in the world that detains people indefinitely just because they came by boat. We don't have to do it this way. Let's heed the medical experts' advice. Let's fix the system. The doctors we're talking about, are they emergency doctors? Mm. Are they all the doctors that are ruled down? They're representatives of the... Uh, Australian Medical Association in Darwin. So it's a, it's a statement that's been put out by them, a call to action to the Immigration Minister from that organisation, which clearly uh, has a big representation of the medical staff in Darwin. Are the people concerned who are attempting suicide, are they people that have had their bids for asylum rejected? It's, a, it's obviously a combination, but we know that the long-term detention of people is directly linked to the increase in levels of self-harm and attempted suicide and mental illness. Uh, we know that m many of the people who are detained uh, in our detention centres for a long period of time are people who were wrongly assessed uh, in the first instance and are having to ha go through their reviews. Those overturn rates of those wrong uh, decisions in the first place uh, are coming out at between The Green Senator Sarah Hansen Young there raising the plight of asylum seekers around the country after we've heard some concerns today from a group of doctors at Darwin Hospital. If you would like to keep continuing watching Sarah Hansen Young speaking on this issue, you can do so by pressing red and watching it on Multiview. We are, though, going to move on to some other issues now. Let's welcome our panel for this afternoon.